Hey guys, Red Pen Mining here. Hope you're doing well, having a really great day. This video, oh, this is extremely rusted. I just bought three different Equihash miners. Well, mainly for Zcash mining right now because Zcash has exploded. Disclaimer, I am not recommending anyone in going out and buying these types of miners right now, but I know a lot of you guys have seen that there's been some people who have been spending more than $8,000, $10,000 on these miners and yeah, some people are taking that risk. But the reason why I bought three is because I was able to get a good deal out of it. And so I got a Inna Silicon A9. I'm not actually sure if this is a Z9 Plus Plus or something. There's been different variations. So uh, we'll, we'll turn it on and see what it gets. But I have also a Z9, Antminer Z9, and an Antminer Z11 here. So these three models that I picked up, I paid about $320. For these three combined now you may see this one here the antminer z9 mini this one i already had sitting on the floor it only does 10 casels but i gotta turn this on and make sure it works uh, we'll do that in this video actually i may test all of these because i don't know if they work they look severely rusted okay some of these look like they are extremely rusted and uh just judging by some of the fan grills on these things they are very rusted as you can see so i'm planning on a live stream of taking all of these apart and just cleaning them i do have extra fans and whatnot so i may do that and just you know do some uh alcohol spray and wipe down everything wipe down the a6 they're all just pretty dusty and dirty i mean i think these things were manufactured in 2019 so these things are more than six years old the inna silicon a9 here the z9 and then the z11 okay these come from back in uh, 2019 i believe wait sorry the z9 and a9 i believe come from 2018 so these are like seven years old and then the z11 is about six years old as of now but yeah judging by the condition I think they'll just need a little bit of TLC and I don't know if they survived in shipping so we're gonna turn them on in this video. So I didn't get any power supplies with these or anything so it looks like I'm gonna have to uh, do that myself. I don't know how this Z11, oh, oh this just slides out, nice. So this one needs uh, 9 PCIe plus the control board PCIe so I'm gonna need a bit of power here. Actually I may just turn on one by one just to make sure they work and then I'll do a, I'll do a separate live stream cleaning these up. All right, so. I will turn this on and talk about current profitability right now, Zcash, right after today's video sponsor. Looking to jump into crypto mining with confidence? Meet ASLminer.com, your gold standard supplier for all ASIC mining hardware. Founded in 2015, ASLminer distributes top brands like Bitmain, What's Miner, Ice River, Canan, and now they are the official distributor of the new Flu Miner L1 Pro Dogecoin Miner, Flu Miner L2, and coming soon, the Flu Miner T3 Bitcoin. Miner. They have multiple cryptocurrency payment methods, worldwide shipping, and world-class customer service to deal with customs and tariffs. ASL Miner makes the ASIC Miner buying experience easy. Visit ASLminer.com today and use code RPMRPM for $30 off your order for the lowest priced crypto miners today. Link down below. Okay, so there's this one thing I wanted to clear up. I think there's been a bunch of people believing that there's gonna be a Zcash halving in November like of this year. And no, that's that's a lie. There's a halving every four years. I think the previous uh, Zcash halving happened in 2024. So there's another three years left roughly until the next uh, halving for Zcash. Okay, so yeah, there, there was, uh, I think there was something due with AI. Um, AI was picking up from another website. I think it was saying that there was, uh, it was a, a countdown display error on a website, bit degree, regarding the Zcash halving, which would happen this year. So yeah, that's they're speculating that it was happening on this website. So yeah, that's I think that's what was, what was happening. A lot of people were saying that Zcash is having that it was supposed to happen in November 2025, but no, it's it's actually uh, it's actually uh, 2028. Which, as of recording right now, it's a, about 700 bucks. Zcash did have a dip maybe a couple days ago, back down to 500, 400 or so, but now it's back up to 700, which is absolutely insane. It just keeps on going. So the current profitability 
currently, okay, of all these miners, all these Equihash Zcash miners basically is doing pretty good. As you all know, I sold my Z15 Pro. I did have a Z15 once, but I gave that to the Mining King. Mining King, hope you're enjoying those profits now. Uh, then there's the Z11 that I just got, the A9 Z Master, and the Z9. Okay, there looks like they're making a couple bucks, but the Z11 still making about 819 at 135 K souls, 1400 watts. So, yeah, the Z9 Mini is making like a quarter or so. So not bad, not bad actually, not bad. All right, so here's my stash of power supplies. Okay, like HP server style with breakout boards, and I'm gonna use uh, six pin power, right, to power those. Equihash miners. So that's how I'm gonna do that utilizing these things I got from Parallel Miner. Uh, actually, good thing I bought a whole bunch because they apparently just went bankrupt and they did a massive sale and yeah, I uh, should have bought more. So we're gonna turn on the A9 first. I think this thing takes under, uh, according to mining now, 620 watts. So I have a 750 watt HP server PSU and it's gonna need six. Uh, six pin, oh no, no, sorry, seven uh, six pin PCIe. There's one right here for the control board. So I need seven, and so I have seven PCIe cables here that I'm gonna plug into. Okay, I have the veteran miner PCIe cables. I'm gonna plug it into here, and then we're gonna turn this thing on, make sure it works, all right? Which I don't think I've ever turned on an Inosilicon A9 before. So let me plug everything in. <laughs> okay. Oh geez, it's been actually, it feels like it's been years since I've plugged in these types of ASIC miners where they have the power supply externally. Normally like ASIC miners these days have power supplies like on the side or you know on them physically. All right, so I'm using a, a separate power supply, right? So yeah, it's just a spaghetti mess of cables, so don't mind that. All right, anyways, I got all the cables plugged in, six by six pin PCIe and another six by PCIe for the uh, control board. Okay, so let's turn her on. Let's see if she works. Uh, I'm gonna make sure all the cables are plugged in. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Let's see how loud it is. Three, two, one. Oh, I see lights turning on there. Nice. The fans are going. There's a fan on the back. Yeah, looks like it's getting, is it getting network? Ooh, I don't see any, I don't see any indicator lights on there. No ETH. Oh, yeah, there is. Very tiny bit, yeah. All right, let me go in the computer. Let me just see if it gets an IP. Let me uh, set it up. Okay, 580 watts on this Inosilicon A9. I don't, man, I don't recall playing with an Inosilicon for a very long time. No, I played with the A10 Pro. I think it was back in 2021, 2020. Anyways, so yeah, the web GUI here is something I have not seen in a while. So I have it connected to NiceHash, okay, uh, right there, A9, and it does show that's earning about a good four to five dollars every 24 hours. I guess that's roughly what uh, Mining Now was saying for the A9Z Master. Okay, a couple bucks there. So it looks to be looks to be pretty good. I'm not getting any rejected or anything. Uh, I know that on NiceHash the Z15 Pro uh, does not work. Okay, so the Z15 Pro I was getting all rejected hash rate, but with this A9 it is working no issue. Okay, so yeah, this is good. This in the Silicon A9 is doing good. I just wanted to show you guys here. I saw performance, and this is a page I don't think I have seen in a very long time. There's balanced factory, performance mode, efficiency, but it looks like it was tuned already at almost factory. Okay, so I thought that was something I wanted to show you guys there. I think the person who had this before probably already tuned it, but yeah, looks like all three hash boards are mining there, and this one looks to be just great. Okay, so, all right, the A9, not bad. It's actually not that loud as well. It's actually pretty quiet. Yeah, it's, it's pretty quiet. The fans are not loud. I mean, this thing actually runs cool. I saw the chip temps are under 50 degrees Celsius right now. I mean, it's still 73. I mean, it's, there's still a bit of hum to it. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna turn this off now, and now I'm going to try the, let's try the Z11, okay? Or Z11, this one with the 
very rested fans. There's no fans on the back. Okay, so uh, let me swap everything over. <laughs> okay, look at this monstrosity. Uh, this one requires 10 six-pin PCIe to power this damn Z11. Just, just insane. 135k souls. Okay, yeah, I can't close the lid. I can't even yeah get the cables through the back there. It's it's impossible. I. I actually bought a couple hundred cables from Parallel Miner, so once I, you know, get these up and running, I'll, I'll use those cables instead. The Veteran Miner ones are really thick, and don't get me wrong, they're really nice, but I don't want to bend them too much. Anyway, you guys can see my, my situation here with the power supply. I have a 14, oh sorry, 1500 watt power supply, because this thing, the Z11, is going to take about 1400 watts apparently. So, alright, let's turn her on and let's see if we get a fire or some smoke. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay. Uh, it's drawing some power. I don't hear any fans. Okay, yeah, the fans are moving now. Yeah, okay. It's very quiet. Alright, let me see if I can... Let me see if I can see the web GUI. <laughs> Oh, the Z11. Uh, currently making like 10 bucks a day. Not bad. All right, let me go on the computer. Be right back. Oh boy. All right, so I just turned it on. It's only been like two minutes. It was showing up on NiceHash, no problem. Okay, it did show up here. Uh, but now it's stopped mining because the, apparently according, according to the log, the temperature of the thing, it was pulling like 1500 watts. But according to the log, the ASIC temp is over a hundred. According to the kernel log here, let me just show you guys here. It says temperature PCB chip, 113 is higher than 80, 110 Celsius. So it says it's too high, closed PIC, needs reboot. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this off right now. Let's, let's turn that off. I'm gonna turn that off. And I wonder if like heat sinks or something came out of the uh, during shipping because it went up to hundred over 110 within two minutes. So looks like I'm gonna Yeah, that looks like this one's not not working. I mean it did work. It did show 1500 watts I didn't record it for you guys, but it was it was mining at one point uh, Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that off looks like I'm gonna have to tear this apart I'll do that in the live stream. Okay guys. I think this video is long enough. I uh, I'm not gonna turn on the Z9 uh, I'm gonna clean it up first. I'm gonna assume it works. I may change the thermal paste on all three of these guys. Well, maybe the NS Silicon is it's probably fine. It was showing under 50 degrees Celsius, so I think that one's fine, but these two probably need to be repasted. So I do have a bunch of uh, Arctic, uh, Arctic MX6, so that should be enough, uh, maybe not enough paste that I can do uh, both of these units. So yeah, all right, well, that's my journey with these. Uh, looks like I'm gonna work on this over the next day or two. So uh, if you're watching this video, I'll probably set the live stream to uh, play around with these tomorrow if you guys are watching this video or maybe the same day maybe. We'll see, we'll see. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Peace out, let me know your thoughts, okay? Let me know your guys' thoughts about what I just uh, did today. All right, peace out, peace out.